Hello, this is Mr. Chabby. We are here at the Goldenrod City Gym, and this is going to be the next thing we have to do before we can continue on with the story. Um, Goldenrod City Gym is kind of well known for being pretty difficult, um, especially if you're not prepared. And I'm hoping that Enfile will be prepared enough for us. Um, so this is actually a normal type gym. The funny thing is, a lot of the Pokemon that she uses, um, as you see here, it's kind of like a little, I guess, 3D maze, I guess. You have to go up here. But anyway, the Pokemon that uh, a lot of these trainers use are no longer normal types. They're actually, uh, some of them are fairy types now. It's just interesting. If they ever do like a Johto remake, I wonder if they'll just change Whitney into like a fairy type gym leader. Um, or if... Or if they'll just, you know, let her still be a normal type and just use a few fairies. I'm not totally sure how that'll work. And that actually goes into our question of the day. Who is your favorite normal type? My favorite is probably Pidgeot. I love Pidgeot. I also love Snorlax. That's a really good normal type. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's battle down the Centrits. Um, hopefully Omphile learns a good fighting type move before we get to Whitney. Because Whitney's going to be where it's most difficult. Yeah, there's a lot of these centrits here. There's going to be a lot of Meowths, Jigglypuffs, and Schnobbles. I am curious if they ever do another Johto remake. How they're going to do it. Like, how they're going to present this gem. Because a lot of these Pokemon that, you know, the people here use have the fairy typing. Um, I mean, you have a pretty good mix of, you know, pure normal and Pokemon that are now fairies. So I don't know how they would do that. Um, but anyway, that was pretty easy. Centrits aren't really a problem. I want to make sure I battle every trainer before I get to Whitney because I would like to get some good experience. And that's pretty much that person. So we'll go up here and battle this person. <laughs> yeah, all right. And this is Beote Samantha. She uses two Meowths. Uh, Meowth is a pretty cool Pokemon. Um, it's, it's got pretty good speed. Um, as a Persian, it's really fast. It's got good attack, too. It's not the best attack, but it's okay attack. Um, but yeah, it's not the best at taking hits. And Ophelay can do quite a bit of damage here. Um, I think, looking at this, we might actually make it to level 19 before we get to Whitney. So hopefully we'll be ready for her, her Pokemon that are pretty well known for being difficult to handle. Um, if you're having trouble with Whitney, what I would suggest is, you know, getting a fighting type Pokemon. If you're... Not wanting to use Heracross, you can catch a Drowsy in the route below us and trade it for Machop. Um, you could do that. And Machop's actually a really good Pokemon. Um, if you evolve it into Machoke, it could actually help a lot. Um, to get a Machamp, though, you'd have to do a trade evolution. Which, okay, it's down this way. I feel like they've changed this maze. Yeah, they've changed it from Gen 2. Well, yeah, now you go this way, and this should be last carry, who's got a Schnubble. So yeah, one of the other, like, uh, thematic things that's going on with this gym is all the Pokemon are quote-unquote cute Pokemon. You know, I mean, you could, you could say Schnubble's pretty intimidating, but, you know, there's people that really, really think Bulldogs are cute, and that's basically what Schnubble is. Um, I might end up switching here. Actually, let's leer so we can be back at pretty much base attack. Alright, so that, I don't know if that's going to hold us back a lot. Uh, one thing I do want to point out, though, if you when you get to Whitney, is it actually would be helpful to use a female Pokemon. Most of the time, you don't think of... Well, actually, yeah. Okay, so most of the time, you don't actually think of, you know the gender of the Pokemon you're wanting to use. Um, because most of the time it doesn't come into 
it doesn't it doesn't affect the battle however here in Whitney's gym uh, she actually uses a Pokemon that uses attract and what attract does is it shuts down uh, pretty much shuts down the Pokemon of the opposite gender um, which makes it so difficult to handle um, your Pokemon will be like fully immobilized a few times and it's pretty difficult to handle that. Um, so, luckily for us, Onthalai is here. And it's actually our best answer for handling Whitney as well, you know. Because it, it is a fighting type. And actually, I don't think we will get to level 19, will we? It's going to be close. It's going to be really close. If we got to level 19, listen. We were just going to low kick and just steamroll right through that mill tank. Alright, Sing's kind of annoying. Um, it's actually really low accuracy, so it's it's crazy that that hit. Um, I think I actually got something to awaken it up, right? And I don't, no, I don't. So we're just going to have to horn attack through and hope that we wake up. But yeah, um, kind of annoying getting put to sleep. Um, it's also annoying being put under the effects of attract because that really is annoying <clears throat> i don't know exactly like the chances of you you know powering through an attract and attacking but i feel like most of the time it ends up you know being immobilized you know we'll just horn attack hopefully a sing won't hit us um all right crit nice nice all right, we're almost to level 18 at least. I don't think we'll even make it to 18 before we get to Whitney. I don't think we will. Um, another thing is Whitney has a Pokemon with the ability Cute Charm. So having a female helps with that one too. You might be thinking, I'm just going to bring a ghost type. You know? But the thing about that is um, our Miltank actually has the Scrappy ability. So even if you do bring a ghost type, she'll be still be able to stomp you. And yeah. That's not good. Um, plus Miltank. Miltank actually has a surprisingly good speed stat. Um, it also has good bulk too. So it makes it a little difficult. Um, let's go ahead and heal up before we go on to face Whitney. Whitney, like I said, it's gonna be a tough battle. I don't know how tough it's going to be for us because, you know, we've got Heracross. But, yeah, it's going to be a pretty tough battle. Uh, let's go ahead and face Whitney. And then after that, we are going to go do some more stuff around Goldenrod. Um, let's see here. Let's go up here. This is like the quick way back. Alright, and I guess we're ready. I don't feel ready, but I guess we're ready. Hi, I'm Whitney. You, I saw you at the radio tower just now. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. Want a battle? Yes. Alright, so Whitney, as I've been, you know, telling you guys, is... A normal type user. Normal types are only weak to fighting, uh, but if you have a rock or steel type, they're going to have a hard time hitting you back. Um, <clears throat> real quick, let's go ahead and horn attack. Um, so this Cl Clefairy here has the Cute Charm ability. Oh, Charge Beam. Um, so what Cute Charm does is it, uh, if you have a male Pokemon and you like make a contact move on a female Pokemon, you have a chance that your Pokemon falls in love. And unfortunately, that thing just got a special attack boost. It's going to mimic. It's a good thing. Listen, it's a good thing that I did not go for air. Well, it doesn't even matter because we're about to take it out anyway. Actually, okay, so she's going to heal up. But it's a good thing we didn't go for Aerial Ace because that would probably one-shot us. But anyway, this thing has Double Slap. Uh, it's got Encore. And it's got Metronome. Metronome's a move that it just picks a random move. And it uses that. So that's why it used Charge Beam earlier. And it's got Mimic, where it learns a move that you just went for. 
Um, so yeah. Uh, also, it is pretty difficult if you don't have something for it because of that cute charm. It could encore you and you'll just be stuck doing something. Uh, but Mill Tank is where the real fear happens. So this thing has a track which will shut you down. Stomp, which has a chance to flinch you. Um, and it's fast. So it just outsped Omphali. Uh, we're on Horn Attack, though. It has Milk Drink, so it can heal itself up. Uh, we've got to Leer this thing. You've got to Leer. Alright, um, so I don't think I was very prepared for this. <laughs> so we gotta go into Rocky here. Um, the main move that most people fear from this thing is going to be Rollout. Um, at first, it's got low base power. But as it goes on, it actually gets more power. Um, and it just flinched me. Great. And it attracted me. Great. Great. <sighs> Alright, we're going to screech through anyway. Good. Alright, we'll try another screech. Uh, but what this is, it's kind of annoying because right now we're, <coughs> we're attracted and we have a chance to flinch. And screech missed. What? Alright. So right now we're fighting an uphill battle. Yeah, so what we're going to do is just sack something off. Um, sorry, Baby Yoda. Sorry, Baby Yoda. <laughs> okay, so what I'll need to do, I'm th I think what I want to do is go back into Rocky so I can go for a dig. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. Uh, the reason why I want to hit it on the defense side is because, if I remember right, right Miltank has better special defense than normal defense. Um, so if we can try to, you know, hit it on this, it'll be great. And Dig actually helps with Rollout, too, because if Rollout misses, that uh, base power goes back to normal. Alright, that's decent damage. Poor me. Poor you. I'm going to dig. Uh, that's kind of bad because now I've got to, you know, win the coin flip twice in a row. Alright, um. Debug. Listen, Debug. You're going to have to take one from the team just like Baby Yoda did. Stomp. And we might actually take one. Yeah, so, um. Got a potion for Omphali. Thank you, Omphali. Uh, roll. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is the fearful thing. The thing I'm most afraid of. Uh, we have to dig. We have to dig so it misses. Because if it doesn't and it just keeps hitting, it's going to eventually get to where it doesn't matter what I send out. It's going to one shot. So there. It's going to bring that base power back down. Um, I do have to say, this is probably my toughest battle, too, you know? Uh, because I'm actually here trying to play around the mill tank. But we have finally, finally, take out mill tank. Great. Rocky got some good experience out of that. Onfile hopefully gets to level 19. Sandstorm. Uh, Sandstorm is a weather move. I'm going to just, you know, skip it. Uh... It brings up a sandstorm, which, you know, hurts non-rock, ground, or steel-type Pokemon. Steel-type, ground-type, rock-type Pokemon don't take any damage from sandstorm. However, any other type will. Um, so now she's crying because I beat her. If you talk to this girl down here, she'll say, You made Whitney cry, it's okay, she'll stop soon. And you just go back. Yeah, so you actually have to walk down a little bit. Um, when I was younger, what I didn't realize you could just walk to her and then walk back. So what I would do is I like left the gym and was confused what to do, and then eventually I came back. It's like, oh, you just talked to her again. But she gave us a tract, which is mo one of the most annoying moves. 
But she just told us that the Pokeathlon Dome is now open, which is a cool thing that they added here in Heart Gold Soul Silver. This is something that I really think they need to do more of. These little competitions outside of you know Pokemon battling, um, sort of like you know it, it sort of has the same idea of the Pokemon contest from Gen three and even you know Diamond and Pearl Platinum, but it's it's a little bit more hands on. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up. Sorry, I had to sack off some Pokemon to heal. I was hoping Ophelai would you know finish off that battle, but. Whitney went for rollout, and I was like, I cannot send anything else out but Onyx. Anyway, with that, we're going to go ahead and heal up, and then we can continue on. But first, what I'm going to do, before I do anything else, I'm going to grab <clears throat> the squirt bottle. And you're going to actually need the squirt bottle, so we'll go back and do that real quick. You can actually get the bike here, too. Actually... I'm going to go grab the bike first. This is something that I think is a good idea for you to do. If you go down here, behind all these buildings, you'll find this one here. You just talk to this guy who's saying that he's not really doing a good job selling um, bikes. Uh, just offer to, right, you know, he'll offer you a bike for an advertisement type thing. So people see you riding a bike, they'll be like, oh. Where'd you get that? I got it from this spot that you could hardly ever find in Goldenrod. Oh, that's cool. So I can actually register it, so when I hit select, it'll just do it. Or, yeah, you can just hit Y, not select. But yeah, it makes it where you move faster. And also, you want to go over here so you can get the squirt bottle. So if you talk to her... There's nothing to worry about, is there? I'll let you use the squirt bottle. And there we go. Nice, nice, nice. So with that, we can actually remove that pseudo wudo. But before we do that, let's go up here. And we're actually going to do something in the next episode. But I, I want you guys to see where I'm going first. Because this is something I want to try out. Uh, if you go this direction. Alright, come on, Alphalai. Here is the Pokeathlon Dome. And here's some guy who's got a, a Polyrath. Your hair crosses quite a Pokemon. I bet it's ready to participate in the Pokeathlon, bud. Most of all, your po your solidarity and trust of your Pokemon makes, believe, makes me believe in infinite potential all right follow me but yeah you just go up here this guy will give you a tour i guess of the pokeathlon dome what is the pokeathlon dome what is this place um a sport festival for trainers and pokemon there's various challenges awaiting to test their friendship and we're going to try it in the next episode um if you like this go ahead leave a thumbs up this guy's name is magnus by the way Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, I will see you in the next Pokemon video.